News out of North Carolina. The State Board of Elections has appealed last week's order by the North Carolina Court of Appeals, which required election officials to remove Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s name from the 2024 general election ballots and print new ones. The appeal was filed with the North Carolina Supreme Court Friday of last week. The state board asked the Supreme Court for an expedited decision so the counties will not have to spend additional money preparing and printing new ballots if the state board is successful in its appeal. In North Carolina, a county board of elections is responsible for ballot-related costs. In an email to county election directors Friday evening, Karen Brinson Bell, who is the state elections director, asked counties to work hard to ensure ballots will be ready to go out to absentee voters no later than September the 21st, that is the federal deadline to send absentee ballots in a presidential election. Voting system and ballot printing Vendors have indicated that it may take an additional 12 to 13 days to help carry out reprinting of ballots. If it's determined that these tasks cannot be completed by September the 21st, the state may request a waiver to the federal deadline. Brinson Bell also told county officials not to send any ballots until a date is determined for all counties to do so, as the voting period should be the same for all absentee by mail voters. Now, before the Court of Appeals ruling, the 100 county boards planned to send the first wave of ballots to eligible absentee voters who requested ballots last week. That would have made North Carolina the first state to send ballots to voters in the November 5th general election. As of last week, more than 136,000 voters had requested absentee ballots statewide, including 12,700 military and overseas voters. The absentee ballot request deadline is 5 p.m. Tuesday, October the 29th. Election officials urge voters who wish to vote by mail to request their ballot as early as possible to ensure that there is time to receive it and then send it back to their county board of elections.